Kisemo ebona katuo kwa kutoka mauti ni tunasema tunasema ebona tunakiri Amen. God is good. And all the time, that is his nature. He's so good to us. We have lost our dear son, our dear brother, our dear friend. But we want to say that God is good, for he is the one who knew when he came, and he's the one who knows when he left. May his name be praised. Praise be to God. We are going to start the, the service by singing the hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. It's in our program. It is in our program. So we are going to sing it. And sing it with joyful hearts, for this is the Lord's doing. Our praise team, you can lead us to start the hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, Bye. 
The Lord has taken, may his name be praised. Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. May we take seat, our seats for prayers. Let us pray. Our most loving Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are coming to you with praises, with thanksgiving, for giving us this opportunity to come here, to have this service. As we feel the pain of losing our dear Eric, we want to thank you for his life. We thank you for the many things that he was able to do when he was alive. And we want to thank you, oh God, that you have seen it fit to take him at his very tender age. We commit the family to you that as we bid him good, goodbye, you're going to visit them in a mighty way. Dear God, you have reminded us that it is you who gave Eric to the family and even to the church and to the, the whole community, and it is you who has taken. So we want to pray that you're going to comfort us and that you're going to visit us in a mighty way. We are thanking you for all those who are related in one way or the other, that, oh God, your word may be spoken to them at this very time that they are experiencing that, the deep sorrow, that, oh God, you are going to uplift them in your own way. Dear God, as you go through this service, we want to thank you that you are going to use us to minister to the family. Whatever we are going to do in this place, the singing, the prayers, the reading, the tributes, even the speaking of your word, we commit all those items to you, that each and every one of us who is going to stand here in your presence, you are going to use them so that we minister at this very time. So be with us as we start, even as we continue in the program, we pray that you're going to, we are going to experience you in a different way, and especially the family, they're going to hear you as you speak to them. We thank you and we honor you for you are Lord God Almighty at all times. We pray all this, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, my kingdom come. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. We are in the city of Nairobi, and so I want to welcome Elder Dirangu to welcome us officially into this place and also to give us how this place is. Welcome, Elder. Good morning, all. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Just wave. Praise Jesus. 
Thank you. My name is Elden Dirangu, and I'm well in the Lord. Mine is a brief welcome to this church. Uh, on behalf of St. Andrew's, PCA St. Andrew's Church, the session, we want to welcome you all. I want to tell you, feel free, feel wanted in this church. We've come to give the, a befitting send-off to our son, our youthful son who has gone to rest. He was a member of District 2425, a full communicant, well taken care of, and we praise God for that. We also want to recognize that uh, in the midst of the COVID, we still want to keep the protocols, watch out for the distance, keep your masks on. If you need any assistance, please, you will be assisted. Feel at God's feet. This is the best place you are in at this time. Uh, feel, feel at the feet of Jesus. The psalmist says, when you are in distress, this is the right place to come. This is the right place to seek the face of God. Thank you. Uh, and I also wish to welcome our co-elder from the district, Elder Edith. Maybe you can just say hi. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Feel wanted. I'm born again this morning. Christ is Lord and Savior of my life, and Eric was our member in District 4 and 25, even the Kibudo family, our members. We are mourning, and we thank you so much for coming to mourn with the family and also with the family of the district. I'm reminded that uh, if you need restrooms, uh, below these stairs on my left, which is on your right, there are some bathrooms there you can use. And even at the back of this uh, building, there are some other bathrooms that you can use in case you need. And uh, in, if you need anything, I was wondering where Salome is, so that she can help you. She's around, she is in uniform, and she can help you if you need anything. And may God bless you. Thank you. Our elders, for the word of welcome, we have various people who have attended this service. And I want to request kindly, if there are any elders seated among in the congregation, if there is any elder, please be upstanding. We, we recognize you. Any elder from the Presbyterian Church, thank you. Thank you even among the family members. Can we appreciate them with a clap? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Any other elder from any other church? An elder from any other church? Okay. Members of other churches, other than the PCA church, please lift up your heads. Anyone who doesn't belong to the PCA? Yes, there is quite a good representation. Let's appreciate them for their coming. Okay. Presbyterians? The Presbyterians? Yes, we are quite a good number. Let's appreciate them. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have elders and ministers seated here at the front. I request elders to be upstanding. Elders of, yes, all these elders standing here in front of you, they are elders who serve at PCS and Chadrus Parish, and they represent various districts in the CAC session. And one of them, my sister, Elizabeth serves at our baby congregation, PCA Kileleshwa Church. She is the chair of the congregation. Can we appreciate them? Thank you, thank you so much. We have the ministers who serve here, this church, this parish. Myself, Dolkas Kamau, I'm one of the ministers, and I have my colleague who is the moderator of the session who is going to speak, and he's going to introduce himself. We have visiting ministers. 
I request you please to come here. You are not many. Just come here. Just come here and greet us briefly, please. There are some mics there. Briefly, briefly, we are known for saying uh, one verse. Please be very brief. Yeah, praise God. I'm Reverend David Olelekutit, an Anglican priest from ACK Dallas of Kericho, a friend to this family, and uh, I thank God for this day. May God bless you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I am Jane Karioki. I minister at PCA Isli Parish. I'm close to this family. We have grown together with Hannah and Ruth. We call each other baby friends, and we have grown together, and we are mourning with them in this. May the Lord comfort you and give you strength during this difficult time. God bless you. Um. My name is Edward Karaja. I love the Lord Jesus Christ, who is my Lord. I'm a friend to the family. I've known Anna many, many years. And I'm sorry, Anna, I did not know about this until two days ago when my friend Peter told me about it. And uh, your brother, and may the Lord continue to condole with you and give you comfort together with your husband and your daughter at this time and all the days of your life. Comfort of the Lord to you and the entire family. Amen. Thank you, our ministers, for coming, the visiting ministers, and even the... Yes, there's another one. Okay, thank you, thank you. Is there a minister seated among you? Any church minister seated among you, please? Okay, thank you, thank you so much. So we are going to rise up. Eric and the group are going to lead us into the time for praise and worship. Very briefly, please. We sing unto the Lord. It's time to praise God, to thank him for his doing. Yes, it is painful, but let us continue praising God. Praise the Lord. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of my praises today. Alpha, Omega, you are the of my praises today. Lord, we say Alpha, Omega, you are the of my praises today. Alpha, Omega, you are the of my praises today. And we say Alpha, Omega. Of my praises today, Alpha Omega, you are worthy of my praises today. And we say, Receive our praise, O Lord, receive our praise, O Lord. My things and honor we give unto you, receive our praise, O Lord. Receive our praise, O oh Lord. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of my praises today. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of my praises today. Praise all 
Adamu yake Yesu Sina wema wa kutosha Dhambi zangu kuziosha Nani kwake Yesu Nasimama Ndiye mwamba ni salama Kwake Yesu Nasimama Ndiye mwamba yake sina hofu mbele zake kwake kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba ni salama kwake Yesu nasimama ndiye mwamba Kwake Yesu nasimama Ndiye mwamba ni salama Kutu maini sina Ila damu yake Yesu Sina wema wakutosha Dhambi yangu kuziosha Kwake Yesu nasimama Mwamba ni salama Kwa ke Yesu nasimama Nye mwamba ni salama Kwa ke Yesu nasimama Nye mwamba ni salama And it is on that great rock that we stand upon that we don't get lost And today we want to say that Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna mungu kama wewe Ewe mungu wangu Hakuna mungu kama wewe
Thank you, our praise team. You may take your seats. We continue with the service. This time you're going to have words of resurrection, words to comfort us, words to console the family, done by my colleague, Reverend Jane. Karibu sana mchugaji. I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit, inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised, imperishable, and we will be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true, death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the room. But thanks be to God, for he gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm, let nothing move you, Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Let us all say amen. Amen. Thank you for those words of resurrection. We have hope that whoever believes in Jesus Christ will have that eternal life. So it's a call to all of us to, be, to believe in Jesus Christ, for there is a promise of life eternal. So it's time for the eulogy. It's time for the eulogy. Praise God. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Praise God. Amen. Praise God once again. Uh, my name is Ian Korea, a cousin to Eric. I shall be taking you. Okay. Praise God. Praise God once again. My name is Ian Korea, a cousin to Eric. I shall be taking you through the first part of the eulogy. I repeat, shall be taking you through the first part of the eulogy. It's on page seven. I repeat, page seven. And we'll start. On a beautiful Saturday morning, God graciously granted Dennis and Anne their firstborn child, Mwanawairi Gidaadi a bouncing baby boy whom they called Wanjao, but formally referred to him as Kungu. The women of Mukuraini and those of Komodai burst into ululations. Ladies, I'm asking you to help me with this. Let us go in three, two, one. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It can get better and best. Appreciate yourselves and God bless you. This particular day was 30th of May, 1992. Wanjao grew as a happy young chump all alone for three years. Alas, in 1994, his parents, Denis and Anne, brought him a loving sister. Murugi. Eric fondly called her Rugi. He doted on his baby sister from that day onwards, and they enjoyed many wonderful moments throughout his childhood and adulthood. You would always find them spending their free time swimming, laughing, watching movies, and dancing together. In their childhood, 
they tagged along to school together, and you'll always find Wanja waiting for his little sister outside her classroom. What a love. Oh, what a love. Upon getting home from school, Wanja would help his sister, Murugi, in writing and reading before doing his own homework. Julie always ahead of her, was always ahead of her class in reading, thanks to her elder brother's support. He was the big brother and the selfless, and selfless gentleman who would always ensure that Julie was comfortable. This relationship continued to be warm and loving. The two would often be spotted together having a laugh, driving together, attending family get-togethers and holidays. There are many stories entertained friends and family as well. Their parents were always happy to see this deep bond that the two had. Tell me of any, sibling, of any siblings who don't enjoy teasing their parents. Wanjao and Julie teased and joked a lot with their parents, whom they had a deep bond with. Uh, there are a few lines repeated. We shall turn to page eight. Wanjao never left home without telling his mother, Anne, see you, Mama Wanjao. Take care of yourself. Jichunge vizuri, tutaunana badai. Black belt taekwondo achiever. That was Eric Wanjao and his sister Murugi. That was Eric Wanjao. And his sister Murugi always felt safe with him whenever the admirers glanced at her. But despite this, Wanjao was very calm and peaceful, never getting himself into any squabbles. Wanjao was a, was a very inquisitive and sharp-minded boy, and at the age of four, four years, he was taken to Msingibora Nursery School in Westlands. He was an outspoken and very honest boy. He asked his teachers many questions. His love for learning saw him join Hospital Hill Primary School at the age of six, at the age of six, at the age of six years and later, the Green Garden Schools, Kikuyu, where he successfully completed his class eight. Wanjao loved playing drums, and many remember him on his drum, on his set of drums as a young boy. This saw him join the school band and choir in school. He loved listening to music and often took time to shake a leg to an entertaining beat. The tall and handsome young man took advantage of his height and physical strength to play basketball and hockey. However, this meticulous and very clean guy loved water. Those who know Wanjao well, those who know Wanjao will attest to the fact that he, he was always clean and particular about his look, and he always affirmed, I know I'm handsome. <laughs> he loved water, be it in the bathroom or in the swimming pool, where he engaged in swimming com competitively and for leisure, winning many medals and trophies. This great swimmer also played water polo. So far, so good. Praise God. I'm Alice, and I'll take you through the rest of Wanjao's journey. Bold, confident, vibrant, humorous, and his nonchalant way of dealing with situations are just but a few adjectives that describe Eric. He never displayed fear or anxiety. Eric was an icon greatly known for the saying, Ikonini, what's the big deal? irrespective of the situation at hand. Wanjao was greatly loved by his cousins and friends whom they had a good time laughing, playing, and dancing together from time to time. How many of us look for the big note to give to a parking boy or beggar? We look for the coins. Wanjao is known to give 1,000 shillings or 500 to a beggar and be left with nothing. He would not buy food and leave the street child with nothing. He bought for them too. What a heart of compassion. PCA St. Andrew's Church is the place where Wanjao loved and enjoyed going to worship. This, is, this was where he was baptized and given the name Eric. At the age of 14, Eric undertook catechism classes and was confirmed as full member of the Presbyterian Church in December 2006. Eric, a determined and well-behaved student, is how his principal at Pioneer School described him. He participated actively in badminton and swimming, representing the school up to provincial level. His love and care for humanity 
saw him qualify as a sergeant with St. John, um, John's Ambulance. Wan Zhao made his parents, family, and friends proud by performing well in his Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education, KCSE. Eric was a trustworthy and dependable young man. These rare character traits led him to be elected as the treasurer of Strathmore University Human Resource Club and secretary of the Strathmore University Media Group. He excelled and graduated from Strathmore University with a Bachelor of Commerce, majoring in marketing and a minor in entrepreneurship. These entrepreneurial skills learned at Strathmore led Wanjiao into his first horticultural export business with his father, Dennis, whom they had a great father-son relationship. Here, he engaged their clients professionally and with much enthusiasm resulting in much success. His integrity has seen him work at INM Bank, current branch, and in the finance department at Nairobi Metropolitan Services until his demise. Eric had a great network of friends and professional colleagues. As his friends put it, he knew very important people and treated everybody as such. He took time to check on his friends and caught up with them often. They enjoyed his company and great sense of humor. Wanjiao enjoyed good health and lived a vibrant life, loving and being loved by many. On 6th March, having had a full day with family, he took an evening nap and drifted to glory, where he now lives with God, whom he so loved. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 to 19. Pray at all times, be thankful in all circumstances. This is what God wants from you in your life, in union with Christ Jesus. Praise be to God. Thank you, thank you so much for taking us through the eulogy very confidently and very clearly. This is a very brief story of our son and our friend. The rest of the story is with the family and they'll keep the memories. May God lead you as you get used and adjusting to live without him. Now we are going to get into tributes and there are several tributes here and so we are going to do them as they are recorded. We start with the one from the church PCA St. Andrew's Church, Elder Edith will do that, and then we go to the family, and finally we'll finish with the friends. Praise God. A farewell tribute from PCA St. Andrew's Parish to the family of the late Eric Wanjao Kibodo. We, the fraternity of PCA St. Andrew's Church, wish to convey our heartfelt condolences to Dennis Kivodo and Anne Wairimo Kivodo, both of District 24 and 25, and the Kivodo's family during this moment of the demise of your dear son, the late Eric Wanjao Kivodo. This is a great loss and blow to the family, the church, and the nation at large. He was a young man who was focused and committed to excellence. Though young, he leaves behind an image of humility. We are grateful to the Almighty God for the 30 years that the late Eric Wanjao Kibodo li lived among us. It has been a moment of great inspiration and encouragement to the family. Ours as PCS in Tantrus Church is to uphold family members and connect you to your maker, for this is the way to us all. Let us remember that the death is a reality for every human being not a respecter of personalities or status, and the final stroke to every human being. Our encouragement comes from Philippians 1, verse 21. For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. May the Lord of all peace and consolation be with you, be with you as we lay uh, to rest. Late Eric Wanjao Kebulu, signed by Reverend Harun Gere, 
the parish moderator of PCS in Tandrus this, this day of 11th March. Thank you. Now we get to the tributes from the family. We start with the father, we go to the mother, and then the sister. I request that if, if there is anyone doing it for you or you do it yourself, you're welcome. Welcome. Then my sister Anne prepare to do after. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. In loving memory of my son, Congo, of all the special gifts in life, however great or small, to have you as my son was the greatest gift of all. A special time, a special face, a special son, I can replace. In an aching heart, I whisper low, I miss you, my son. I love you more. Thank you. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Thank you. Uh, my name is Waboy Kahobu, a cousin to Anne. And we are thanking God because this is the day he has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'll read her tribute. Wanjao, my son. On 30th of May, 1992, you came into the world. A handsome boy who transformed me from An to Mama Wanjao, Ninawakahe. Wajao, you have been a joy to me and to my entire family. A loving, caring, and responsible young man. You liked cracking jokes and made me laugh often. You were so unique, having a mind of your own and never following the crowd. An open-minded young man who cared for all and was very careful not to hurt anyone always peaceful. You were keen to apologize whenever you made a mistake. Our neighbors, wherever we lived, were very fond of you for, not being, for being social and very likable. You greeted each one respectively, respectfully, including the watchman and the workers without fail. You were very clean and meticulous. You were always neat with your shirt well tucked in, shoes well polished and well combed hair. Wanjao, you never left the house without asking Julie, how do I look? As a teenager, you made a choice not to sag your trousers as your peers did and always tied your belt neatly. neatly. Which parent is commended by the traffic police officers at Central Police Station for raising a son well? Eric, having been arrested for driving without insurance, you were so polite to the officers that when I came to the station, they thanked me. I am grateful to God that he enabled you to be a man of integrity. Wajawakwa, you made me so proud that you were the only student who signed in and out of the hostel, Kafoka Hostel Strathmore, and you were well awarded for it. My dear son, you cared so much about my well-being. You took me to India for treatment and sat for a straight eight hours outside the theater. And when I was out, you took great care of me. You never left my bedside. You cooked and took great care of me. For this, I will be forever grateful. Who will be telling me? Nina Ajao, take care. Jichunge sana to nane badai. You would always say these words whenever you left the house. You gave your love freely and openly to Julie, Dad, and I. Beyond that big warm smile was a great big heart whose capacity to give and love was beyond measure. Wajawakwa, 
You always notified me of your whereabouts. I will always be grateful for this. I am confident that you're in our Heavenly Father's everlasting arms. You loved God and never missed to say, thank God, whenever a good thing happened. What can I say? I thank God too for the 29 years he gave you to me. Wajau, why didn't you say Kwaheri? I have many questions, why? I guess you knew it would pain me. Thus you slipped away, my dear child. I am in deep pain. But I will trust in God who has always walked with us and will do so in the, year, in the days and years ahead. I loved you and I will continue to do so. Uh, kama vile wanja ulikuwa nasema, nitajichunga vizuri kwa uwezo wa mungu. Tutaonana badaye, wakati ambaye mungu atapenda. And our closing, her closing words are from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18, which says, Be joyful always. Pray at all times. Be thankful in all circumstances, because this is what God wants from you in your life in union with Christ Jesus. In Isaiah 57, verse 1, when all does not seem comprehensible, she, she reads and says, Good people pass away. The godly often die before their time. But no one seems to care or wonder why. No one seems to understand that God is protecting them from the evil to come. Thank you very much from Mama Wanjao. It's time for Julie. Uncles and aunties, Jen Kifurugu Pulipea, Joki Gashui, Murugi Mwangi, and Brian Osoro. Please prepare. Welcome. Tribute to my sweet brother. My sweet Wanjao, where do I even begin? Ours was always the strongest sibling bond. What do I mean by that? We loved each other hard, but we also fought hard. What I love to call the Murugi Wanjao dynamic. Pinching my chubby arms, calling them, pawning my pillows on my forehead after getting my hair done and calling it a landing strip. I would always get so upset about it. You are always so protective of me whenever we were together. And when we'd part ways, your famous words were always, Kwaheri, now cinemas. Your skincare routine was always on point, advising me to eat fruits, drink water, and green tea to have skin as smooth as yours. How can I even forget the time you took to get ready? Endless hours checking yourself out in the mirror saying, look at this handsome boy. We spent every weekend practicing swimming, making a spectacle of our swimming skills at Parkland Sports Club and Safari Park Hotel. You loved to cheer me on at swimming galas at Green Garden, expecting nothing less than a win. My favorite high school memor memories of you are of how oblivious you are of the girls that would hit on you, yet very aware of how precious you are. You are such a kind soul, Wanjao. I remember when we'd come for your visiting days, you'd make sure mom carried more food than just for you because, your friends, because of your friends who weren't visited. Wanjao, you are creative, never lacking nicknames for me. My best was douche. You motivated me and gave me so much confidence as should a big brother. I loved you so much. I loved every moment with you. I hope one day I'll have the same immeasurable joy, so free. I loved you, but God loved you more. Thank you. Thank you, Jen Kifuruku. Come and represent the aunties and nieces. And the others, please prepare, come in that order.
Praise God Church. Uh, my name is Jen Kefrugo. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I will read the tribute on behalf of Eric's uncles and aunties. Eric, you were, when you were born, you brought in untold joy, happiness, and fulfillment to all of us. On that day, we call your mom's voice. I have a handsome baby boy, Wajau Wahana Nakifudu. You lived and loved with lots of energy. How you liked smiling and making all of us laugh. Always responsible, excited about life, and the horticultural export job you were doing. Wajau, always well-groomed and smartly dressed. The cob in your pocket got us all envious. How about the nail cutter? In your own very special way, you are always pleasant, caring, loved deeply, called to ask, how are you, auntie? How are you, uncle? If only we could hear that once more. We are grateful to God Almighty for your life. To God, a thousand years is like a day, and a day is like a thousand years. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8. We are at peace. Lest in peace, knowing that you are and will always be our shining star, undoubtedly that you knew. The special years will not return, but with the, life, with the love and memories within our hearts, you will walk with us forever. May God grant you eternal rest. Amen. Please, excuse me. Please, there's a uh, attention. Please, please attach to your car number. KCK 913P. KCK 913P, attach to your car, please. We continue with the tributes. Hello, everyone. My name is Rachel Njoki Gashui, and I'll be reading the tribute on behalf of Wanjao's cousins. Wanjao, what, will, what wouldn't we do to see you dance one more time? Because you insisted that you're a good dancer. What wouldn't we do? What wouldn't we give to force one more hug out of you when we would meet as you rolled your eyes or tried to run away because you thought we would ruin your perfect afro? If only we could hear you call yourself handsome one more time, to which, of course, we would roll our eyes. If only we could see your face light up when you had a slice of cake. Wanjao, you are a king in the pool. You are our dolphin, forever calm with a cocky smile and an, an and unapologetic brashness. You surfed and conquered the waves of life. You knew how to have fun, share jokes, and spread laughter. Not to forget that you are the reigning champ at musical chairs in the family. You lived life according to your, to your rules. Behind your sarcasm and humor was your love and care for those around you. You were such a softy at heart, made evident by the, new, the numerous emotional R&B songs in your playlist that you would sing along to word for word. You are the only person who could tease and annoy someone in one sentence and then crack a joke and leave them in stitches in the next. We know that you fought some serious battles in life, often silently and in private, so we find hope in knowing that there is no more pain for you. We thank God for the time he gave us to spend with you, as short as it may feel. Don't worry. We will ensure that we fully represent you at the next cake festival. And even though we know we can never come close to fitting in your shoes, we will try our best to be there for Rugi as her cousins. We love you so much, Angel, and may your soul find peace and some good music to dance to eternally. Praise the Lord. 
I'm Murugi, and I'm going to read uh, the tribute for the Wanjiao's family. To our dearest Wanjiao, you are the embodiment of a gentle soul, a warm smile, playful, and humility. It breaks our heart to lose you. We cannot understand why someone so precious had to leave us so soon. We are comforted by the fact that you have left with beautiful memories. Wanjiao, the memories of your heart warming smile will forever remain. Your capacity to engage with persons of all ages was an admirable attribute. We loved you dearly. And though you cannot see you, you will always be a member of family. Rest in peace, Wanja. Finally. Finally, friends. Friends. Good morning, church. Yeah, my name is Brian, Brian Osoro, uh, a very dear uh, friend to Eric. Yeah, so I'm here to represent the friends. And uh, if the church can allow me, uh, once in a while I would say segue, uh, but all this would be for the benefit of the church to really get context of what has been written down, you know, from the friends. Um, yeah, so without further ado, Love him or hate him, Eric was annoying, and he, his annoyance and annoyance is not always a bad thing because more often than not, it shows that there is life in that relationship. You had to experience Eric to understand him. I'll miss his stories, his nonchalant way of dealing with things. He never displayed fear or any anxiety because Kwani Ikonini. I think that was his talent. Eric defined his life path. He was a lifeist, to say the least, purest of heart and a selfless soul. I'll miss his bluntness and humor because Eric said what he thought, what he thought of regardless of who was around. He was very observative. He noticed the tiny little details if your nails chipped the next day or your forehead grew by, by an inch, if you, laid, uh, if you laid out your age as well. He was very particular about things. Um, I'll miss him. I'll miss our banter. I'll miss him dance, and I hope he doesn't stop. In, uh, uh, and I hope he doesn't stop in his afterlife. Dance with the angels, Rafiki. I'm sure they know how to dance, but Kwani Ikonini. Thank you for being a good friend, and thank you for the memories. Yeah. So Eric used to stay at uh, some hostels called Kafoka, um, you know, in university. So, yeah, it, it was run by the mil military, if I can say that. Sometimes I wonder how he will be able to jump over the wall when in Kafoka to go out. Get away with, get away with the Makangas not to have to pay fare as he will bring people with him. The spontaneous, maybe random things he will do in the name of fun. Lakini Jamal was able to talk himself out of situations. His reasons, albeit funny, naive, different, will come even the hardest of individuals. Giving people nicknames from Made to Ramaposa to Sheila everything. I think I've seen some of them here. Um, yeah. I also think he did not like the idea of one. He liked two or more than two. There had to be one, uh, more than one way of doing something. Yeah, and uh, if most of you, I believe you've gone through the, the program, you've seen his photos, uh, you can clearly say that the man was really beautiful. Yeah, so Wanjao always said that he will never put on a sweater because he believed he was the hot one. Hot. So hot. In summary, he was always a jovial, choleric, kind-hearted, and sanguine uh, individual. No wonder he attracted many people like a magnet. 
Time will fly, but memories will always linger. Thank you. Thank you very much for all those tributes that have been given. And we pray that God will remember the family at this very, very hard moment. It's time for presentations. We have several groups that have registered to sing. And the first group is the district, so that they show us how to stand here. District 24, 25, you may come rush here. The elder who is past me that you, you, you are going to fit here. So just come. District 24, 25, your elders are here. Elder Dirangu and Elder Edith is all here. Please come here and make your presentation. All cousins prepare after this, then family members District 2425, thank you for that presentation. Cousins, all cousins, all cousins, all cousins, all cousins, all cousins, all cousins. these are all cousins. I want to believe that you're going to fit here where I'm standing. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We need to take some mic. Who's ready? Sorry. 
solo ni nani? Nani ana solo? Nani ana solo? Naambiwa ni wewe. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. None as could heal all our souls' diseases. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend. Thank you, cousins. Thank you. Thank you. There's no other friend like Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have Kenya Jewish family and later Wajao's family. Kenya Jewish family, please come and make your presentation, the later Wajao's family. Finally, we have a group from Gong. A group from Gong.
Kenya Jewish family, thank you, thank you for singing. Thank you, thank you. Nitogo toria, nimogo toria. Wajao's family, this is your chance. Wajao's family. The group from Gong, please prepare to sing after Wajao's family. Wajao's family. Praise the Lord Church. As Wajo's family, we would like to praise the Lord with a song, a Kikuyu song, in the memory of Wajao. And the title of the song is Magerioni Maigemotole Reinio, as for First Peter chapter 2, verse 11. Welcome. Let's enjoy the song. Magerione Maigemotole Reinio. Bala no tu kuona, na toti geto nyoto, toto e na jeso, nia reto hila na, hila kwibi ya kwe. Kenara na wena, kende moge, nie nire ote kanya, kere tiki ya duma, nie hale wa papa, kilo maino. Oh, yeah. 
Thank you, Wajao's family. Thank you, thank you, Wajao's family. I'm waiting for the group from Gong. The group from Gong. The group from Gong. Church, good morning. We are friends of one of the sister, one of the family member of uh, the Kenyan Jews. Ruth is one of us. We are members of ACK Emmanuel Ngong, and we're here to console with the family. And we shall sing a Kikuyu song that says, More More Awa Jordan. Maria wa Jordani ne ko hare de dia Foro mwega kanani ne ko toga tora Toga tora hama na jeso Foro mwega wa gekeno Toka ina The group from Gong, thank you, thank you for that encouraging song. This time we are going to change slightly. We are going to have time for offering. So prepare to offer those who have their cash in the phones. I'm going to give a number. Those who have it in their hearts, we have some offering baskets. The family members are going to 
to give out the, the baskets. This offering goes to the family and they decide what to do with it. The number is there on the screen. The M-Pesa number to use is on the screen. Zero seven two two eight five eight one seven five, and the name to appear is Robert Gesho. For those who have cash in their hands, you can give as you get out. The baskets are going to be placed at the doors so that you offer. The baskets are going to be placed at the doors. But those who have the 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 M-Pesa the M-Pesa number is on the screen. Please read it and put it correctly. The name to appear is Robert Kesho. While we do that, yes, I see some baskets coming. Thank you, thank you. I yes, I believe these are our deacons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So those who have cash, they can give. Please give. As we do that, I am going to request the guild, the women's guild, to come and make a presentation. Women's guild, please come over and do a presentation. Our liaison elder is here. Our chair was here with us. Guild, please come. Members of the women's guild, I'm waiting for you here as we continue with the offering. The number is still on the screen, the M-Pesa number. The family is going to decide what to do with the offering after we give. So you are giving to the family, and later they'll decide what to do with the offering. We are waiting for more members of the Women's Guild. Continue offering through the M-Pesa, through the, the offering bags are there.
Thank you, thank you very much, the Women's Guild. Thank you, thank you. We are going to pray for the offering. Let's all be upstanding. Let's all be upstanding, please. We are praying for the offering. Let us pray. Our gracious and loving God, we thank you and we honor you this morning. Even for this far that you've been with us in this funeral service, we thank you for the life of Eric, and we continue to seek your comfort, even strength, even to the family and friends who are gathered here. Here before you is a gift that uh, your people have offered in your name, and we thank you because you are Jehovah Jireh who provides for us, and how we pray, Lord, that these gifts of your people will be used even to further extend your kingdom here on earth. We thank you and we honor you because you are a good God, even at such a time, you remain a faithful God. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray, trusting and believing. Thank you. Be seated, please. At this time, you're going to have the Bible readings, one after the other. The Bible readings... Praise God. Our, reading, our first reading comes from the book of Psalms, chapter number 91, verses 1 to 16. And I will read. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I'll say of the Lord is my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he'll save you from the fuller's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near you, it will come near your tent, for he, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You'll tread upon the lion and cobra. You'll trample the great lion and the serpent, because he loves me. He says the Lord. I rescue him, I protect him, for the acknowledges, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I'll be with him in trouble. I'll deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Be blessed. Good morning, church. My name is Janet Waweru. Wanjao is my nephew, I'm a cousin to Hannah. Our second Bible reading comes from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 7. To 12. And if we are there, we will proceed. But we have the treasure in jars of clay to show that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Verse 10. 
We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so in that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For, for, we, for we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may be revealed in our mortal body. Verse 12 and the last. So then death is at work in us, but in life is at work in you. And that's the word of the Lord. To prepare our hearts to listen to the word of God, we are all going to rise up and sing the hymn, It's So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Our speaker is the moderator of the session, St. Andrew's Kirk session, and he's going to introduce himself when he comes to sing, to, to, to preach. together. Father in heaven, 
In you, we move, we live, and we find our being. Dear mighty Father, to all of us, we are known to you. And all the details concerning our life, dear mighty Father, is known to you. Even where we are at this particular moment, coming to mourn and to eulogize of Elik, dear mighty Father, you know us, dear mighty Father, individually what we are going through. More so, dear mighty Father, you are calling us, dear mighty Father, because there is death that has occurred, dear mighty Father, and we are coming here, dear mighty Father, seeking a word of comfort and consolation. We commit yourself, ourselves to you that you may continue to minister to us. And from the time we started this service up to now, cumulatively, you have spoken to us through the program that we have gone through up to this level. Even, dear mighty Father, as we sit to connect to your word, we release ourselves to you that you may have your ways, O oh Lord. Minister to us, dear mighty Father, individually, and even in a corporate manner, so that by the end of the day, glory and honor may come to your name. For this is a prayer of faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray and believe. Before you sit, I've not given you permission to sit. I humbly request all those that are 25 years up to that one be left standing. If you are 25 up that way, up to 30, that one, that two. For you are the reason why we are here. And we can connect with you because this is your age meet. I've seen even them that were called here to present as cousins. We can tell your age bracket. Because death is not a respecter of the personality or the status. And death can occur to anybody. In lifetime, you have interacted with Eric. Some of you may have been together in the university others working, others, whatever the relations that you have. But Elik has gone. is detached from us. And death can occur to anybody. And therefore desire to utilize your time the best way possible. For you are known by the Almighty. Why Eric left and you are left behind is by God's grace. Therefore, let it not be like attending to any other barrier, but let it be a time to connect with your maker. I hope you have listened them that had an opportunity to eulogize Eric in that booklet that you are holding. Well put, among his friends, this is what they are saying. You defined your life path. We were with you as your friend. We were captured under the category of the friends. To Anjau's family, listen to what they are saying. You have gone, but your capacity to engage with the person of all the ages was so admirable. You have gone, but that's what you have left to us. To aunties and uncles, this is what they are saying. You are always well groomed and smartly dressed when you are with other people. Because dress the way you want to be addressed in your lifetime. Two cousins, that's what they are, they, they, to the cousins, they are saying, you lived life according to your rules. You never get lost because you are with the others, but you lived within the confinements of your rules. To the sister, you are always protective 
and you are so keen to be smart even as you move out to dear Dan you are just but a great gift to me you have gone and finally to the mother you always notified me where about where you are you could not just sneak sleep over without me having a crew where you are what a moment God bless and keep you well and because death is imminent it is inevitable what is this one thing people can say about you because all of us that is the way allow me to say a prayer for you as your jays eric as you connect with this uh, news about the death of eric may the lord god minister to you we are here as parents as a church death of a young person a very promising life but he has gone to be with the lord we have nothing to say than to accept the reality dear mighty god we thank you for the young men and ladies that are standing before us as they come to eulogize the life of their friend and their age mates dear mighty god continue to minister to them and help them dear mighty father at all time to remember death is imminent it is inevitable not respect of the personality of the age help us to live in according to your will so be with these young men and ladies as they live now without elik who was in their space for this we pray in jesus name be seated thank you levran dolokas the program mover for the father to hear in and even for a moment to recognize them that are visiting to join mama murugi's family as we mourn the demise of their son we appreciate the elders even our session clerk bona patterson kamara among other elders for finding time to come and also ruben who is here when he, you are recognizing people who was not there here by then and all those that are coming in wherever you are seated i also appreciate my colleagues jen karioki you have been with us in this issue during the first day of morning here you came and ministered to us and we thank you jen for coming edward kalanja you are a household name here and you even had an opportunity to serve this family we also appreciate and i'm also so grateful to my colleague we are arumina of st paul levan uh, david ole the kutut that's mchungaji from uh, anglican church kirisho dawsis and we thank god for coming and also for being a family friend to this family that is mourning we thank god for that to all of us we have this booklet of elik and somebody said one photo speak thousand words as you look at that photo and all what has been said and written there is what you can be your take away home as we celebrate the life that has been terminated by death of a very promising young man from the childhood to that age of that years and therefore kenya jewish family and uh, wanjao's family on behalf of the pcs st andrews because we are part of you who worship with us and quite a number of them mama jambi and the rest those who belong to this congregation and particularly the elder edith and dirango where these people they are in that segment of that district we are here on behalf of everyone and that our tribute was given to confirm we receive the news and news about this 
and we have desired and we have walked with you up to this level. We are here because death has occurred. And if there is a time people even usually ask hard question, is when death happen, and especially of a young person. And many a times, and we are human beings, we tend to ask what is death? What happens when you die? Is there life after death? Why, how comes there is death instead of us living and living this life and enjoying it? All those are hard questions that many a times your fellow human being cannot dare to answer you. Rather, we are there to engage one another because death is inevitable, death is imminent, and death is there to all human beings. And anything that is born has to die. That's given. If you look at Psalms 150, even whatever has a breath, time will come and that, 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 that organ ceases not to live. That's what we are subjected to. And remember, when you talk about death, because our context of our meeting today here, we usually come to this sanctuary because of many activities. But today is set aside because death has occurred of a young person. Allow me to remind you, death is mystery hidden to human beings. And that's why we start our day, we navigate through only not to wake up the following day. A lot has been said about this young man, started the day like any other. And he finally, the following day he was not there. It's a mystery. And uh, allow me to remind you, as long as we are human beings, death is a fundamental human problem. As long as we are alive and we are human beings, it's our problem because it has to occur. So fundamental that we cannot do, we cannot really think that we can do without it. And we are not for us to call for it to come, but we find ourselves in that state. Death, death, death. And no one who is too young, or too old, or too smart, not to die. It is there. And there's no medicine to it. Because if there is medicine, and the way you decline to take the medicine, saying they are bitter, this is not a medicine that you should leave. But there's no medicine. It is absent that we all hang on life. Nikama kuwa niko tumea nikwa. And the, the maker can withdraw our life any time. We are coming here to mourn, to escort and to say goodbye to our own. Because to all of us who are seated here, there is a way we are related to the red Eric. Being a cousin and call, we worship together, business partner, all this. And even the Mukuroine people, Komodai people, all those that are here, we are here because death has occurred. It's the end of the season. Being in this life for 30 years, close to 30 years because he was almost standing to his birthday of that year, the year, Eric has gone. His season under the sun has come to an end. And even as I enter to the scripture reading that you have done, Allow me to remind you about five things that you need to know about the season. Because being alive is a season. Dying is another season altogether. Being young is a season. It will come to an end. 
Being old is a season, it will come to an end. And it's good always to desire to know which season are you in. When you compare yourself with your other human beings, which, where do you classify yourself in terms of the season? It's always good, brothers and sisters, to respect the season that you are in. You respect the season that you are in. Whether you are middle age, you are young, elderly, and decide to maximize your season. Do what you can because death will occur. Death is inevitable. So whichever the season that you are in, respect your season and maximize. Behold, death is coming. Some people live for quite a while. I remember visiting a certain lady who is 110 and she is complaining because the husband left. The children, eight and 90 years, they have, have all died. There is no age limit around that area. She, she is feeling so wrongly because the season of other people came and she has been left. We are in a season. Don't waste your season. If the Lord gives you something to do, to study, to interact, to do business, to worship, don't waste the season that you are in. Behold, that season will come to an end. So be wise and please utilize, maximize the time that you are in. Behold, season, that season will come to an end. Remember, season come and go. We have been with Eric, and Eric has gone to be with the Lord. So the season come and go. We cannot reverse. Dad and mom, you had an opportunity to be with your son. There you are. This, that season has gone. We can hear you giving your tribute. Season come and go. So don't think there's nothing static. Things are changing. And when you talk even about the season, you cannot throw your season or hasten your season. It is ordered it will go that way. It has taken us by surprise to hear that Eric has gone to be the Lord. But the maker, in his divine planning, he knew this guy will not go be, 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 be above that years. And that's where we are. The psalmist, Psalms number 91, is calling upon us. Even as we talk about the death, we talk about the season, and we talk about all these. Psalms number 91 is where we have reigned. And we are coming to escort this young man when we are going through some challenges within our community, within our society, and even going through the normal things. Like now, we are in the rent period. We are in the rent period when you talk about our master, Jesus Christ. That's when we are escorting this young man during the rent, the year 2022. What is this season that we are in? What is this season telling you about this? As we talk about our master Jesus Christ, all the roads are reading to give all those prayers to escort this young man. Where are we during this Lent season? We are escorting this young man when within our country, we are within examination season. KCP is over, from four still, they are still going on. We are in that season, it will come to an end. We are also coming here a day or two days be after the International Day of Women. Women being celebrated. Mother to Eric, we can hear you in your tribute, celebrating this young man and connecting with these. And even for the Lord allowing you to be a mother, and even the firstborn being a son, is something to thank God for, and the season come and go. We are coming here when we are so much troubled by the border-border saga. Hearing a certain lady, a diplomat, 
being subjected to all manner of harassment. We are in this season. It will come to an end. And more so, we are Kenyans. The season come and go. We are in the season they pull and push. Who can take the readership and who can be in those certain positions? But the Bible put it very clear in Psalms number 91. And that's where we are as we come to mourn with this family. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High, the Bible glorify. And I would request you on your own time, you see of a 12 benefits that are mentioned in Psalms number 91 of those who dwells in the shelter of the Most High. Those who seek the refuge in the Lord. Even during the time of their distress, time of death. Psalm 91 is saying that even a thousand of people may fall on your right, but I will spare you and keep you well. We are not yet out of hook of the COVID. And me and you, we are still there by God's grace. Let us desire to live in the shelter of the Most High. And that's why we are directing you as a family that desire to know and to capture and to size the benefits that are there, well mentioned. Because those who take the shelter of the Most High, number one, and these are the benefits well mentioned in the Bible, they will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. No amount of suffering, no amount of sorrow will dislocate them because they will be lasting, accepting the reality, lest in the shadow of the Most High. When all the girls are sinking, where do you run? Remember David, Psalms number 40. Huh? I waited patiently. David, that's what he was going through. But I waited upon this God. And he looked at me. And remember, the rest of it is mentioned in the Bible. And that's where we are. Number two, another benefit of taking the shout of the Most High, he will save you from all the traps and snares of the enemy. We are living in this world with all the manner of the vices that are there. But when we desire to take our refuge and dwell in the shelter of the Most High, He will save us from all the snares. Number three, He will cover you with His feathers. An analogy of a mother chick, chicken with the chicks that will be covered. They just are there. We are drivers in this city. And the Lord God has been protecting you as a ready not to encounter what this lady went through. The ordeal. The most high. We keep giving thanks to him. You will not fear. No harm will overtake you. Angels will guard you and keep you. Even when things look like the center is not holding. He will guide you. He will protect you. He will be with you to see you through. It may not be available for you humanly, but the God of heaven, because there is God of mountain, the God of mountain is the same God of valleys. When we are up there and things are okay, we are rejoicing, we are going through on with our life when we are there. When it comes to the valleys, that's why David being led by the Holy Spirit, he said, even though I'm directing this one to you people, David said, even though I'm going through, I will not fear because when you talk about going through, it means you'll be done. When you go through it, you'll be done. You'll be on the other side. Even though when we go through all these challenges, he will rescue, he will protect you, he will answer you. He will be with you during the trouble. He will deliver you. Those are many benefits mentioned in Psalms number 91. And finally, verse 16 of Psalms number 91. 
with your own life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation with your own life. It's for us who are talking about he was only 29 years, 30 years. But the maker, he may say, I have given him a wrong life. And indeed, Eric has lived that wrong life because there are some people who die on arrival, death on arrival. There are some people who never left the, the maternity and they died on arrival. With a long life, I will satisfy you. So we cannot question him. That years, Eric was around with you. You invested in him. You did what was humanly possible. The maker has withdrawn his life. And the most unique thing about this maker, the most thing about this, this maker, he, can, he does not question or consult. He say in the book of Isaiah, I have canceled myself. Nobody. May the Lord God minister to you. And as I bring this one to an end, Paul speaking to one of the church, he reminded them to keep remembering as you go through with your alerts and the hassles of every day, because they are there. Even after this one, we will go back to our alerts. And Paul was reminding these people, remember we have this treasure. This body is a treasure, which looks like it is in a jar, jar of clay to show the surpassing power of God is what sustains us. Remember, this body is in a, in a jar of clay. That precious life that has been overtaken, taken, because what we have here is the body. The life has already been taken by the owner. What we have is the body here. And then we are being reminded, we the mourners, and we came to join this family. We are being reminded, as long as you are still breathing, that breath, that life, is in a, in a, in, in a jar of clay. So that it may show the surpassing power is from God, not from us. It's by God's grace that I'm still alive. Then he went ahead and mentioned four things that I would like to share with you as we say goodbye to Elik, who has gone to be with the Lord. And he said, we are hard pressed on every side, but we are not clashed. As we go this through this life, I'm telling you, we are hard pressed every side, but we are not clashed. We are pressed by diseases, the poverty, and the many things that we are going through. But the fact remains, we are not clashed. We are still surviving. We are still there by God's grace. To my pity, we are on our third year of Corona. Ask your neighbor, why are you around when Mr. Corona came? You know, why are you around when the Corona came? And we thank God. I don't know whether, and you know there are some magazines, there are some papers that you read, you know, you wonder whether you take it as gospel or truth. I, I have seen the PD, people daily. They are saying we are almost to be told to remove the, the flag. That's what they are saying. We are almost, we are heading that direction to be told to remove the flag. And you can see everybody has a flag. Black, white, yellow, all the manner of the flags. We are being told the time is almost coming. So we are hard pressed. But I'm telling you, we are not clashed. We are still surviving. Number two, we are perplexed, but not in despair. Perplexed by the sad news. When you got this information about Eric, I got it, the so-called ungodly hours, through the elder. Perplexed, but not in despair. Because we keep hope alive. Keep on keeping on. Keep 
hope arrive. We are perplexed by the sad news, by death, by the soul, all these. And number three, we are persecuted, but not abandoned. Persecuted. I don't know whether it was yesterday's newspaper that wrote the beast of the forest, forest road. You see, your son, your brother, appearing in the front page, and the only the editor, what he can allow for the public consumption to be written next to your, your photo, you are being referred to be the beast of the forest road. We are persecuted, but we are not abandoned. And finally, we are struck down, but not destroyed. We look like we are not stable. And when you are almost hit the ground, the Lord come for you. Might about the mother ego. When a, a, a chick is lady, ego rates. Mother chick, mother, mother ego take it, usually fright that one up there. For the church, this eagle to develop potential of the wings, it is released at that level. Ajipangi. And if the mother happened to see the chick is almost, the eagle is almost to hit the ground, we are being told he will learn and lay the, the wings, and the young one will land on the wings, and then a communication, you are not yet done. Again, until develop the potential. Even for us, we are struck down, but we are not destroyed. We are still there, and the Lord God will continue to minister to us and to see us through, because we know God of heaven, God of the mountain, is also the God of valleys. May this fairy, for those that you are going through, and Dennis and Jules, may this fairy that you are going through, and the Bible says, even though I go through, because it will come to an end. Mighty God, continue to minister to us. Continue to have your ways. Continue to see us through in our, all our undertakings. And help us not to take anything for granted. And we appreciate the period that we were with Elik. To you, it was a wrong life, but for us, we may feel he has been terminated from us. Keep us well and help us to keep hope alive. For this we pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you very much for that very powerful message. I want to believe that you have a takeaway home from the message. May God visit you in a mighty way, and especially Eric's family. May God be with you as you go through this. God knows what you are experiencing. We may not tell what you are feeling, but God knows. May he visit you in a mighty way. Praise be to God. Amen. Time has come that we are going to pray for, with the family, and I'm not sure if all of them can fit here. So those who can fit here, come and surround the casket. Just come over. Come over so that we pray for you. We commit you to God because he knows you and he's going to walk with you. Family members, just come over. There's enough space. There is enough space. Ministers and elders, please surround these people so that they may experience that warmth which is from God. Family members are still coming as we sing Pamoja Nawewe. Bwana u sehemu yangu rafiki yangu wewe Katika safari yangu tatembea na wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja na wewe katika
Lord, we pray for this family. We pray that, Lord God, you may encourage them. We pray that, Lord God, you may comfort them, wipe their tears, strengthen them at, at this time of grief. Lord, may you give them hope that goes beyond death. Lord, this family need you. More of you, our God. More of you, Jesus. More of you, Holy Spirit. May you encourage this family. They are actually in the, at the darkest point in their lives. They are in a very mire, mud, a very slippery one, O oh Lord. And we call upon your holy name this afternoon that, Lord God, you may uplift them, that, Lord God, you may encourage them and strengthen them. As, 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 as in the minds, moments linger when they were with Eric, Lord God, may you bless them. Move with them, O oh Lord. Stay with them and see them through, O oh Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for it's new. We move, live, and have our being. Lord God, we thank you for this family. We thank you for the father of Eric. We thank you for the mother of Eric. We thank you for the sister. And we thank you for the relatives. We thank you for the church, the Presbyterian Church of East Africa. And Lord God, we call upon you this afternoon that, Lord God, you may encourage this family and help them at this point of grief. Lord, we thank you and we worship you and we adore you. As we go to rest the remains of Eric, may you, uh, may you give us any mercy, may you bless us and be with us, O oh Lord. And this we pray in faith, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Family members, please take your seats. Take your seats. May God of all consolation visit you in a very mighty way. Before we receive the vote of thanks, I understand there is a lady who has come from U.S. Is it U.S. or U.K.? Who has a very burning tribute. Please, whoever you are, come and give it very briefly before we receive the vote of thanks from... Peter Kifono. Okay, very briefly, please. Come over here. Come here. Praise God, church. My name is Mary Kangede. I am uh, an aunt to Julie and Wanjao. As every one of you, you are, we are all so heartbroken. And I, I wrote something here just to encourage the family. These are tributes from so many people who knew Wanjao since he was born. And these are tributes from all the families in the US. Uncle Kangebe, he was a very, very close to Wanjao. They had just talked three weeks ago. And Aunt Nyokabi, she knows him since he was born. The Gatuas, you all know the Gatuas here in St. Andrews. And there are so many, many, many friends of ours who have uh, sent their condolences and to, uh, told me to come and tell you that they are with you and they are praying with you. May the Lord give you his peace that passes all human understanding. May he keep, keep you safe, and may our son, our friend, our child rest in peace in Jesus' name. Thank you, thank you for that a brief, brief tribute. Thank you. So it's time for vote, vote of thanks. Vote of thanks.
Bwana Sifiwe, I'm Peter Kefodo, and Christ is my personal savior. I'm a cousin to Kefodo Wanjau. I would like to thank God on behalf of the family for the 30 years that he gave us Eric, who was a good son, brother to us. And also, secretary, I would like to thank the St. Andrew's Kraje Fraternity. Your pastoral care was our son because on the first day, the moderator was there. Professor, Reverend Professor Kereka was there. Dorcas, you have been there. Reverend Tolno, we'd like to thank you. And those who are not here, moderator, please pass our regards. That pastoral care was very, very, very good. You also would like to thank the elders. You are there for us. You are there for us anytime you needed you. There's no other day you have been absent. We would like to thank you. When you came here, the woman guilds were here for us. The woman guilds were here for us. We would like to thank the woman's guild fraternity and also the deacons. The Deacon's Fraternity of St. Andrews, please receive our regards. District number 24 and 25, you have also been with us. You also been with us. Also, you also would like to thank Kraje from other churches or from PC, from other congregation, other parishes, like Levra Jen. Levra Jen, receive our greetings. Levra Jen, receive our regards. Levra Karaja, you are part of our family. You have worked a long life. I cannot say it here, but you have worked with us. You have your family pastor. You also would like to thank my friend there, Olukutut. You have been with us. Asante sana. God bless you, your friends. I would like also to, the family would also like to thank members and neighbors at Karen. Members and neighbors at Karen. You have been there for us. You have been there for us. The committee under the chairmanship from by Elder Kenyajui, thanks a lot. You did good work, and Elder Kenyajui is the elder brother to Anne, to her sister Anne here. And finally, we do like rank the family, Wajawa's family, Wajawa's family. God bless you. Kenyajui's family, God bless you. And finally, I want to conclude what the family summarized. Let us all go to the back of our bulletin. Back of our bulletin, that's the summary of our vote of thanks. We, the family of the late Eric Wajau, was to give all the glory to God for the 29, almost 30 years, he blessed us to live with Eric. Our gratitude goes to the church, our relatives, Friends and everyone, especially those who attended this service, those who are with us, for the support we have seen from, from you through prayers, personal visits, counseling, messages, financial and material support during this trying moment. And finally, may God richly bless you. Wando, Elder Wando, please come. Elder Kefodo, please come. Praise the Lord Church. Buana Sifiwe. Yeah. I want to thank God for this far we have come. Since the day our son, our brother, our cousin left us, God has been with us. And we are still believing that He will be with us till the end. Not even the end, but He will continue to be with us. Uh, I'm studying here. My name is Jeremiah Kefudo. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Uh, just to give some three announcements. Number one is that uh, uh, parking here is normally paid, but for us who have come for this, we are not paying. So if someone asks you to pay 
tell them the reason why you are here, those guards will allow you to leave. Number two, when leaving, make sure at least you take a bottle of water. We have distribution points so that when we go there, if you are thirsty, you just take your water. Uh, we have some points of distributing water. The other thing is uh, now because we are just about to leave. When leaving, I believe uh, normally we are read by the house, but we are having outriders. We have two policemen with motorbikes, and they told me we follow them. Whether they are using the wrong way, you follow them. Those who are there at uh, Mog Montezuma, they saw that we used the opposite direction. But as long as we are following them, no one will question us. So if you doubt, you may arrive there late. And I want to believe all of us, we are going there. So we make sure we follow the, 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 the fear costs that are ahead of us. Because the, you know, after the, the outriders, they will be the house. Then the house will be the crowd, yeah? yeah? Then after that, family members. When we are living here, we will start as a convoy so that we may not get lost or be left behind. And we all know that in Presbyterian, there is very little work that goes, at the goes on at the graveyard. So you might be late if you deviate from the course, and you may find that we have finished everything. You are all welcome. Join us. Let's finish together as we started. God bless you. Thank you very much for those announcements and even the vote of thanks. Let's appreciate the two men. Thank you very much. We are coming to the end of this service, and I'm still stressing that God knows what is happening here, and God knows what is going on in the, the, the minds of the family members. May God be with you, and may he lead you, even as we go to lay the body to rest. And that is a very key moment that we need to support the family. So, dear friends, just be there, be present, hold them if they need to be held, whisper good words to them if they need those words. And we are all going to rise up at this time. We sing, my hope is built on nothing less. Verse one and the chorus, we receive the benediction. Let's all be upstanding. The clergy will be ahead of the uh, house. Then uh, the riders will be there. And as we move out, we allow them that are, go especially them that are going to Rangata, to be the first people to exit. If you are not going that way, allow them so that we, we move together. And for that exercise that we are going to do to lay the remains of Eric on the ground, and the service that we have there, and the protection, I call upon Reverend Edward, can I just say a prayer and commit that part of the journey? Thank you, let us pray. Everlasting loving God, we do glorify your holy name and thank you for the opportunity to gather here to come and condole together with Wanjaoke for those family. It is your promise that even though we pass through the shadow of the valley of death, we shall fear no evil for your road and staff, they comfort us. Even as now we process to Langata for those heading there, 
We pray that your rod and your staff will comfort all of us and clear the way for us. And even as finally, Lord God, we disperse and even leave the family. May you continue comforting them, Lord, and continue making them a source of comfort to others in future. We thank you for the clergy that have led in the comforting service, O oh Lord, and we pray that your grace and favor will continue resting upon each one of us. For this is a prayer of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The peace of the almighty Jesus that surpasses all human understanding and comprehensions may keep us well as we continue to mourn our son Eric. May the same peace keep us well in our day-to-day -day life even as we continue now to run to live without Eric. May that peace be upon each one of us. And now may, now may the blessings of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We continue with the rest of the hymn, verse 2. We continue until we... Let's make a, a request here. That main door, we reserve it for the elders and the family so that we may have some order. The coffin bearers, can you come closer? This route, don't take it. If you want to leave earlier, pass the other. Coffin bearers, turn this. Forward, uh, we call upon the elders. Elders, can you go ahead there? Elders and the ministers, we go ahead there. We allow this family to exit. Coffin bearers, I need you to be more faster than you are doing. Sipi Mwangi, carry the Bible with you when it is crossed. Then we can sing that song. <laughs> 